Right, this is the technical department at protopic.co.uk. We've been asked by some of our customers to explain how to bootload the 328PU chips that they get. Now, normally you start, start with your Uno, plug it in, upload your Arduino as ISP sketch. Uh, I've already uploaded it onto this uh, Uno here. You get your Spark Fun ISP shield. Make sure the power's off. You should always make sure the power's off when you're plugging shields in and out of these. You don't want to short anything out accidentally. Plug the USB back in. And you'll notice that there's a small light here pulsing away. That is the light to tell you that the program itself is running. If this is still, then generally the program hasn't been uploaded properly or hasn't been uploaded at all. You've got a green power light. That's steady. That's telling you there's power going on to the main board. Now you take your 328PU and what you're looking for, now you can't see it here, is a small divot in the top. This half moon cut out at the top there. What you want to do is line that up to the top end of the board. Now the top end of the board also shows a cut out on the silk screen. Put the chip in, push the handle down. This will lock the chip into place now. Then on your Arduino IDE software, you click Tools, Programmer. Make sure it's set Arduino as ISP, then Tools, Burn Bootloader, and you'll see the red light here flickers for a second, then it goes onto the green light, and the red light just tells you it's accessing the chip, the green light tells you it's programming. You'll see the blue light still pulses away there. When it's ready, so it will be in a second. The program green light will go off. That is the chip now bootloaded. You're free to take the chip out and place that into your projects or to replace the chip on your Arduino. You can get the shields and the chips at protopic.co.uk You can also purchase your UNO boards and your USB cables. This is a Cerberus cable, 6 foot 3 headed cable I've got one of these in the workshop and I've not needed to plug and unplug cables like we normally have to down here.